Oh, oh, and I want to say that this meal was sponsored by Jackie Newton. Thank you, Jackie. What's up, that's a babe? It's your girl, Joy. And Bobby. Bobby. Look who's in town. Oh, whoa, Bobby. Yes, Bobby's in town, so I had to make some adjustments, okay? Which is what I said I would do when the kids would come in town for the summer or spring break. And so we're looking at the green light. Mm -hmm. And so I said that, you know, I would get Airbnbs, blah, 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 blah. And so here we are. We're at an extended stay. So it's okay. We need to get food and, you know, put some stuff in here. Bobby has an internship here. Yes. So where are you going to be working, Bobby? It's kind of hard to explain because it's not like a, like a big company or anything. Well, ExxonMobil is basically funds a number of nonprofit organizations throughout our area, all throughout Houston. And so they're funding, cause it's a paid internship. So they fund the internships. And basically I'm working with a company called EFTA, Education for Tomorrow's Alliance. And essentially I just get to work with these two wonderful people who I've met. And I'm not sure of everything I will be doing quite yet. I start in two weeks, so I will find out then. The description, I'm basically like helping plan a lot of stuff and organize a lot of stuff. And although that's not in my field, they are good about getting you exposed to people who are in your field of work that you want to be in. So they'll connect me with a lot of lawyers and things who I can talk with, ask questions to, um, have like mentors and get to uh, network is the word, yes. Okay, well that was a mouthful. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I do have some questions for you, but we are starving, not starving, I'm hungry. Starving, Star starving, <laughs> starving. So we are trying a TikTok hack. I wouldn't necessarily call it a hack. So we went to Subway and we got veggie sandwiches. Oh, do you know which one you have? You have mayo on yours. Oh my goodness. So they're both, but you got everything the same? Uh, I think that I didn't. So we got veggie sandwiches from Subway. Yep, 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 this one's yours. That one's mine? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, so we got a veggie sandwich. Boom. I feel like I could get this, like, just. Yeah, I used to get these when I was um, vegan for a hot minute. So I have veggie sandwiches. I wanted to try ghost pepper wings. This lady said they weren't that hot, but I was just curious. And then we got some chicken tenders. So the thing is, you put, what is it? Buffalo Bayou sauce and ranch all over the chicken tenders. You shake them up and then you put them on your sandwich, okay? So, it is what it is. And the restaurants were close to each other, so it wasn't like we had to drive really far or anything like that. So you, go on. So these tenders are already spicy, so. So, yeah. but your sandwich isn't. So show them the drizzle, girl. I got the oh. black and ranch. How'd you do that? I spilled. Okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. And then I'm going to pour it. This is the black and ranch. The black and ranch is so good. So should we pour another one? Yeah. Since you spilled half of that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. You do the Okay, one. here we go. Woo. And then, see, I like a lot of sauce. Here. 
chicken dip is basically like chicken and oh well, go on yeah so buffalo chicken dip it's like buffalo ranch cream cheese pretty much that's it mm -hmm. um i feel like that's what this is gonna kind of taste like what wait for you oh okay. to do i'll come down Okay, bump up, up. It's good. Is it worth going out and trying it? I think it's worth going out to try. Would I be going out my way to get this again? Would you? I love sandwiches. Let's see. Please what? They're not spicy. Unless it hits you at them. It got a little heat. Black and ranch, good. It's really good. Wait, time out for a second. Can you try it? Am I tripping? Like, I feel like this is really salty. It could 
could be. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right? I'm not sure, but that piece. I don't like that at all. There you go. Well, I don't know if they're playing the guitar. Um. <laughs> Music partying. I feel like on Friday and Saturday, go for it. But during the week, people work. Mm. I think it's a matter of being respectful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Bobby just got here. This is her first time being home. <laughs> since the great what since the big move <laughs> you drank all my water mm -mm. there's still some left we need to go to Walmart <sighs> it's a little spicy <laughs> Spicy. So, Bobby, how does it feel coming back and it's not to your home, your room? I mean, it's definitely different, but we figured something out. So, all right, we'll see how it goes. It's only our first night here, so at least we'll see how it is here. This is our first night, and I have Connie Chow. She had bought one of those locks. Um, well, we could put on the door, but it doesn't fit this particular door. So I need to find something from Amazon. that I add a little extra security. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we may try a chair. Not that I think anything is gonna happen, but you never know. But you know what's crazy? Hmm. I don't feel like anything's gonna happen at all. But I feel safer in my car. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Which is strange. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And lots of people. So like does it bother you or anything like that? No. It doesn't bother me. Because home is. Home's where the people are. Mm hmm. These got a little baby spice. So if you like Popeyes. Do I need to watch them? So if you like Popeyes spicy chicken, which is not that spicy.
the ghost pepper wings, maybe one notch up. But put that water in there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not gonna lie, we don't have to do water though. I can't make it through the night. Me neither. That's one thing about hotels. I never have water. I gotta have my water. Mm hmm. Yeah. I drink so much water. I should have that water from the apartment. So how did you end the school year? How was school? She finished? Hmm? Um, I think about... This is your second year, right? Yes. Um, I think I finished about a week ago. Two weeks ago, honestly. I only had to take like... Well... I had a couple finals, but I had to write <clears throat> some semester papers. <coughs> I had to write some semester papers, but I finished and I kept my 4.0, so that's nice. But super excited about that. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I'll be able to graduate in the spring next year. I need to look at all some stuff and figure out. I just don't know the logistics about, cause I'm a double major. Oh, what did you major in? I don't know, what do I major in? Hmm? What do I major in? Political science. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell the people. No, I'm asking you. Huh? Uh, They're waiting for you to tell. Uh, I want to- They want to hear from you. Mm -mm. I said political science. But I'm a double major. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And business management. What? Yeah. I'm a pre-law sociology and political science major. Um, yeah. But I'm hoping I'll be able to graduate early in the spring. But I'm just not sure how hours work when you double major. I'm just not sure, but I have to talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I wish I took more summer classes this summer. You're not taking any? I'm taking one. I wish I took three. Would they pay for that? She's paying for summer one. So why did you take more? Because I'm a two. She's only paying for summer one. We have a lot of money for summer one. But. No. Mm -hmm. Semester went well. I took 18 hours this semester. 18? I'll be dead. Look, I only feel like 18 hours isn't that bad. I also think I could take like 21 hours and I'd be okay. I already take 24 hours. That'll be fine. Next what? year. I feel like it, like 18 hours wasn't too bad for me. Maybe it's because my class are always like different. Like you never know like how rigorous the course is or how like much the teacher requires or anything like that. So my teacher, my professors weren't too bad this semester. That's why I feel like the 18 hours was kind of And like, you really like one of your professors, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you had a professor for, the same professor for two classes. Yeah, well, that was my third, my second and third classes with him. I had him last semester, too. Mm-hmm. Um, but everybody got, all the professors got fired at my school, so. All of them? I would say like 75%. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but apparently it's all for the greater good, is what they're saying, but I don't know. So they get fired, are they going to be replaced? Yeah. 
But for, I have to take my classes across the street at OBU next year. Next semester. All of them? Two. And then three classes are all online. But I don't have professors for them. I don't know who's teaching them. But they have to honor them? Yeah, like they have to honor out my major. Like, it's like, because technically, like, when you, like, it's kind of like a contract. Like, once you, like, declare your major, like, it's like a binding thing. The university has to honor out your degree. And so the school will manage to get it done, but it's like, it's like at what cost, kind of. Like, I think a cool part about college is, like, the academic freedom you get to kind of, like, make your schedule and, like, you get to pick some of your classes because you have elective classes that you get to pick what you want to take what you're most interested in, interested in like what'll best suit your future but i no longer have that freedom anymore because <clears throat> of the situation at my school i'm like being forced to take whatever i can and mm. like i'm basically taking the same classes next year but they're different but I'm like, I took comparative politics this year. I have to take comparative politics again at comparative government at OBU. Like, it's only the same class. Like, besides, my class was more based in the Middle East, but it's like, I took it so I wouldn't have to take another comparative government class, but I have to take it again, another one, because I have no choice but to take anything else. Because OBU's political science, the school across the street, their political science, like, department is not good so I just gotta take what I can do it kind of sucks but it is what it is you could take it online somewhere else it's either through OBU or Arkansas State and both of their political science departments are terrible they have like three classes oh my gosh yeah so mm -hmm. alright y'all give this video a thumbs up until next time Later.